leverage. Okay, so we talk about man and we talk about zone. We play a lot of man coverage here. Okay, so we say close, gather, press to that to our leverage hip, which is always going to be the inside hip uh, when we're covering a running back. I'm talking about out of the backfield. I'm sorry, I'm talking about covering a running back out of the backfield. Okay, we talk about close, gather, press to that inside hip, taking away the inside of the field with our body presence. No, meaning if he or we take an angle that as we get there, if he runs an angle or an in-breaking route, he should have to go through my chest, which allows me to feel good about continuing to gain ground in his inside hip. Because if I'm going at the correct angle, then he can't beat me across my face because I'm going to be there when he tries that. It's really important. You got to pick the right angle, but even more important than that, you got to go squeeze the space out of it, squeeze the air out of it, and only give him a one-way go. Okay? Okay? So the first thing we'll do, and I, you know, you can drill this a lot of different ways on cones and stuff, but there's nothing to replace just one-on-ones against your backs. It's we didn't we we started doing a lot of it in bowl prep, and it was one of the best things we could do. We played faster, we were more decisive, we were more com- confident. It was really big for us. But here you can see some of the close gathered press at work, right? He's he's coming to that inside hit, right? It's a great job. He could probably be a little faster to begin with. Like I don't think he has to gather from the beginning, but he's got a great angle, so he feels comfortable now that he's influenced this guy to go outside. And just so you know, like that's a win. That's a high five, great job, two yard route. That's called winning in pass coverage. That's really important that that they understand that. Like, listen, you get beat on a two or three yard out, go make the tackle, we'll give you a high five, we'll live to play another down. You get beat on an angle, you're coming and sit next to me. So that's it. So the expectations are clear and realistic. And I, and, and, you know, we all understand them. So, boom, here's Jack Kaiser again. A great, Just a great angle. Don't take that angle for granted because you'll see other guys go and they'll get way too head up. Okay, they'll get right here on the guy and then give him this all day. Okay, so the number one thing is that angle and then closing the space. Okay, Kaiser again. And this is the hardest route, the way we cover guys. This little gas route by the running back. First of all, you should be able to tell by the tempo of his circle release, like he's trying to get out of here. So that's a big part of it, too. We talk, we, we talk a lot about techniques, but we, all, we talk about just as much about anticipating based on the route, the formation, you know, the look, the guy. Like, you don't have to play football blind. Okay, but this is a great job of Kai's, like, he's taking away the leverage. And then this is what I'm talking about when I was saying they're displaced and we want to make them open our hips vertical. He's obviously open here, but this is kind of the idea. As he goes to break our plane, use him to bring you with him. That's not a penalty right there. Guy's pretty quick at the top. Got some good backs, but like he's using them to bring him around. It might be a little tug there. I'm with you, but we're allowed to use our hands in college. Okay, and this stuff shows up. I told you we're a man team or the backside of covered four and three by one. You're going to get in these scenarios a lot. Okay, here's a few examples of us executing it in the game. I'd argue here he could kept coming and closing the space, but he's patient. He's not, you know, he covers the guy. It's always things to get better at, but 